Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Macau, a fantastic Steffenfeld game from some years back. It's recently been reimagined and re-released as Amsterdam. I don't have that though, but I do have lovely Macau. And recently my Patreon voters told me they would like to see some solo Steffenfeld. A lot of his older games didn't come with solo modes, but lovely users on Borgen Geek have come up with their own. So we are going to be trying the solo mode created by Game Rules for One. You can see this in the files section of Board Game Geek. I'll link it in the description as well. Rather than playing against an AI opponent, we are playing with many restrictions, limitations on the number of actions we can have in a round, the number of cubes that are available in the game, the number of goods we can have at one time and there will be some competition for the wall and goods in the city will be taken away as the game goes on as well before we get started i recommend you turn on the subtitles to the klingon channel any mistakes i make will be corrected there thanks steve and if you would like to support the channel there are links to patreon and ko-fi in the description too the channel only exists because of the support on those places it will be massively appreciated if you could and you get to vote on games and stuff and join the discord and all sorts of things for now though macau now in normal macau we have win Windroses, the core kind of action gimmick mechanism of the game is we have all of these dice representing the different colors of action cubes we can get. Start around, we roll them and each player chooses a die to take. You get that many cubes from the die. So, hey, I want loads of cubes. I want to take the gray six. You will get six gray cubes, but you will get it in five rounds time essentially if you take a one you only get one cube but you get to use it now so it's all about the balancing of what you want to take and when there are all these office cards that come out as well as a ton of building and person cards you don't know when they're coming out but you know the office cards that are coming out round by round there are two for each round so you can kind of see some colors you might need and as you get to build up a picture of the cards that you have and the abilities that they will let you do you can see which uh, colors you would like more of in this variant we don't actually need the wind rows. you'll put the cubes around this and rotate it as the round goes on there is a lovely player aid here which is going to house all of our cubes there's a little extra player aid that tells you you know what the dice numbers are going to relate to and we have a hard limit on all of the numbers of cubes in the normal difficulty there are 15 of each cube with three more of each which we can get through shipping and moving up on the wall the last bit of setup i have not done is we need to draw three building and person cards and pick one of them to start the game with i should just quickly mention you might have spotted it already that i have got i believe it's a dutch version of the game because macau has been out of print uh, since long before i started playing games and the one time I happened to grab it, it was a really cheap damage copy, I think. So I can't use the player aid and stuff that's actually on my board. And the cards, I believe these were from a file on Board Game Week as well. Uh, the, the, usually there's a ton of text on Macau's cards. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. But someone did paste-ups to convert those into symbols a little bit as well, as well as having some text to clarify it. So there might sometimes be a bit of glare from sleeves, but it's the only way that we're seeing these in English. So the card I pick will go on my player board I don't get to do anything on it yet I have to pay to build the building to hire the person and the cost is in the corner here and once I have built it it will tell us what the card is going to do so I can score a point when I'm first on the wall being first on the wall will help as well throughout the game take any action cube when you are alone in last place on the prestige track now anytime the game refers to being in a position on the prestige track for this solo variant it means the wall because no one is competing with us on the prestige track or we could have porcelain storage for each porcelain tile you deliver you score double points looking at the board and where the porcelain is there's three of each good one's very cheap it's only going to cost one gray cube three blue cubes four green cubes and they might get taken away by dice rolls i don't feel great about starting the game with that because you want to get the cards that you pick out to use their abilities but also because you will lose points if you ever need to take a card and your tableau is still full because you haven't built enough if you have cards unbuilt at the end of the game you lose points for them i think the gate let's try and get ahead on this wall so the others can go away and you will go on my board waiting to be built so we know a few cubes that we would like to have 
another catch is you need to have those cubes available in the same round. So let's get into a round. Again, some of the things that I'm saying only apply to this solo variant. I have done a two player playthrough though that I'll link in the description as well, uh, where you can see all of the normal rules of the game. And hopefully at some point we'll be uh, covering Amsterdam to see how that changes things. For now though, we check to see if my tableau is full. If it's full right now, you lose three points instantly. Don't take punish markers in this solo version. Then you can earn some points. If you've got 10 to 19 points right now, you get another one. If you've got 20 to 29, you get two more. If you've got 30 or more, you get three more points. So there's an incentive to try and race for some early points. Maybe doing some deliveries to try and get that. Then we grab the two office cards for the current round. I also need to take one action cube for round one and two action cubes for round two. They can all be the same color, they can all be different colors if I want, but I have to think about what I would like to try and get built. Oh, I know I need a green and two grays. Why don't I take two grays for round two, see if I can just get that card out quite quickly. And then for goods, I've seen that cloth is quite cheap out here. One black cube, one red cube, two gray cubes. So th these came out randomly. Yeah, I feel like that's the cheapest amount of goods I could get. And it's not too far away from where your ship starts to deliver them to Genova. So I think I might start with, let's say a red. So now we take the two office cards and three building stroke person cards that have all been shuffled up all nicely. Using these values at the bottom of the cards, as in the normal game, we're going to work out how much it's going to cost this round to buy points. There's a gold cost in the bottom left. There's a points value in the bottom right. So it's going to be one, two gold to buy normally, two for five points. That's decent. But in this solo variant, we flip that. So it's actually going to be five gold to buy two points. Could still be worth doing to try and race up to the threshold where you start earning points at the start of the round. I don't feel like we're going to be doing that though, not unless we earn some gold. So then, depending on the wall position at the start of the game, you start on top, you are in the lead on the wall. You must take one of these cards. If it's full and you already lost the points earlier, you discard something to be able to take a card. And you can choose one of the other four to keep as a future development on your player aid up here. You can later on pay the normal cost plus one or two gold, depending on which slot it's in, to play the card. You can only put something in your future development space if you didn't take a penalty for having a full tableau at the start of the turn. If we weren't ahead on the wall, these cards would get shuffled up, one would randomly be discarded, and then we would get the choice of one and optionally a second to put in your future developments. So the offices all do the same thing. They cost a varying amount of cubes to get out and they all let you exchange a cube of the same color it costs to build the office for a coin. So I could, I did start with a red. I could choose that now, get that built. And in the future, every round, I can turn a red cube into a coin. So for administration, that costs two purple to build. The master needs a cube of four different colors. You may place all action cubes of one die in the neighboring space to so move them all to a different round that might help you out in the dice rolling phase the treasurer you take one gold coin more when you use at least one finance office they're the gray offices they will come out eventually the cheap one cost gray office isn't coming out till round 12 though we've got the three cost one there the two cost the four cost and i'm not too excited about that the goldsmith pay any action cube and take a gold Oh, I don't think I'm going to do it in round one, but I think I'm going to take the customs office. Do I want a future development? I think the goldsmith as well. I'm going to take the goldsmith as a future development. Okay, so that's the cards done. Then we roll the dice and put them in order. Oh, a lot of ones. And we can choose up to two of these dice and take the cubes from them, but you may choose to take no dice at all. So the player aid helps us out with where these cubes are going to be placed. As soon as we've taken the action cubes, they will slide along. Now some extra ways we can score in this solo mode. If we can clear out the cubes of as many colors as possible, we can earn extra points. If you can fill up your round, each round has a maximum number of cubes that it can have. If you can get to that maximum, you can score one, two or three points, depending on which round it is. So if I take one of these ones, I'm only getting you know, one action cube. I will get to use it this round, but I will also score a point. There is a danger for taking action cubes as well. If you ever end up with no actions available for the current round, you will lose three points as well and miss a round. I think I'm tempted to go big in round one. Four greens, six greys, maybe get some, yeah, get some stuff done later. So I'm gonna take six greys and four greens. Now, the other limitation is if there aren't enough cubes for you to take with a die, you can't choose that die. 
So I have picked my thing, so we'll move that to the right for next time. Now the game's going to take stuff away from us. If there are two twos available, there's an exception to this, but there aren't right now. So the game is going to take away. For every six they rolled, the AI marker is going to move up on the wall. So I'm no longer in the front on the wall. Fives are ignored. For everything else, you take away that good from the city if it's available. So the four green, glad we didn't go for porcelain because that's been taken away. The two red, the one blue, so all the cheap things, the one purple and the one black, which is one of our lovely cloth that I plan to get. They are all taken away. So now we can take actions. You can take possession of a city quarter, pay the relevant cubes, get the good or joker tile, put it in your hold. You can only have five things at once. If there isn't a space in your hold, you can't even take something that you can use immediately, like to drop off at a port or a joker tile that you can use to get coins and stuff instantly. You can go to one of the empty spaces to still put your marker down. You won't get a goods tile, but you know there are points for forming a big group of city markers out here. You can activate cards by paying their cost, maybe an additional cost if it's in your future section. You can use cards that you've previously paid for once per round. Anytime you gain cubes from the cards, they come from this limited supply. That's it for the whole game. You can advance on the wall. It's one action cube to go up one space on the wall. It's two action cubes for each additional position. So if I wanted to move one space ahead, that would cost me one, two, three. I would get a gold though. There are golden action cubes available for advancing on the wall. And you don't have to be the first to get those. The you know, the AI disc won't take those. You can move your ship. Any color will advance your ship one space. You use, there's no limit to how far you can move in one round. And then when we reach ports, we've got options of dropping off goods for big, big points or taking the lesser points option to get an extra action cube or even not doing any trading and just swapping an action cube you have now for one here. And you can gain prestige from the track. So this round, it would be five gold for two prestige. All I have is a single red cube. And I think I'm going to stick with my plan and I'm going to gain this cloth with my red cube. That's my round. That's a round done. All of the cubes that you spend go out of play. They can go back to the box. They can go in this uh, dead zone here. They are not coming back for any reason. So round two, my tableau's not full. I'm not punished. I am not at at least 10 points, so I don't gain anything extra. We get the two office cards, three more from the deck, and the value is one, two, three. It would be four gold for six points but instead it's six gold for four points which is, is a better rate than last round wasn't it but i'm nowhere near affording that and the cards so we've got the military and finance offices herald you can pay three gold coins instead of the required action cube oh for like city quarters oh you pay one action cube less when taking possession of a city quarter oh i forgot to put my marker out didn't i on the on the space i just bought that could be nice i mean a lot of the ones have been taken away now there is the one gray remaining which you could have for free you have got to get that out but that could be possible accountant you receive a gold coin every time you activate an office card maybe we'll get some office cards i'm going to go for accountant and i'm going to put the military office in another future development so the future developments are full early on i don't <laughs> i don't feel great about that but i don't feel like it's a terrible mistake wait a second i am not ahead on the wall i don't get to pick first it is going to be oh the finance office is going away well i didn't want that one uh, so we will stick with my choice what have we got on the dice we've got oh dear a lot of sixes Oof, getting that <laughs> when you took that gate card and said you were going to get ahead on the wall i mean they're not taking goods away I should probably be thankful for that. So what would I like to take? For this round, I could get that gate card out, but the trouble is you score a point when you're first on the wall and I'm about to be four spaces behind on it. And great that you're going to have that combination of colours out. Oh, the one green good is still available too. I wouldn't fill it up with one more cube is the downside. I'm going to think about the master and again about taking loads of cubes. I'm going to go for the sixes, I think. So in round seven, I'm going to have six black and six purple. And that's two of those four colors sorted. It's just, it's happening in round seven. So the, the time when you get to use that ability is reduced. And I've got two rounds coming up here where I've got no cubes again. And I've, I've only got two cubes now. Hoping that it pays off later though. Uh, so three more spaces. One, two, three spaces for the AI on the wall. And then they're taking the one green, the three red, and the four gray goods from the game. Ouch. So I've got two gray. Nothing's happening with a card. And these cards are... <laughs> I've only got one more slot. I better get a card out next time. I've got no cubes next time. So two gray. I guess I'll get the cloth. Put my marker out. 
I've got some more goods. Panicking a little bit. Okay, round three. We've got some construction offices and we have got the court secretary in the bank. So it is two coins for three, four points. So it's going to be four coins for two points in our solo world. So we know what these do. We've got no current cubes for this round. The count, you pay four gold cubes instead of the required points whenever you activate a card. That would be great. Uh, you can double the use of one office card per type of office card. You take two gold coins every round. I mean, we've got... We want these colours building up in round seven anyway. I'm going to take the bank. There's no room for future developments. The dice. What have we got? Some ones. I need to take at least a one to avoid losing three points, I guess. And we want things in round five. Oh, we do want red to be in that round. Oh, but we can't. The... <gasps> you fool. There's a limit. You've got 12 of the 14 available cubes in that round now. Oh, so I can't take either of these fives because there's no space in that round for them. I need to try and get a card out. Well, if I take two black and let's say a gray, just so I don't lose three points for this round. And then do a player takes the one gray, the one purple's already been taken two blue, two black, and then fives don't do anything. You move along, and again, I've got one cube. I'm losing three points next time for not being able to put cards out. I could have taken the gray and purple, but still this tableau would be full. I'd still lose the points because that's a future development card I'd be clearing out, and I wouldn't get to activate it. I think I'm just going to move on the wall, try catch up a little bit, and try get the golden cubes eventually. I would like to move in the ships because I've got two cloth. And I can't get a third, but we'll try and do that later. Yeah, you want your one ship movement. Oh dear, one cube. At least we've got some cubes coming up next round. Okay then, my tableau is full. I lose three points. I assume I can go into negatives. We've got our cards, so it's going to be two, three, four points for seven gold. Expensive. Lighthouse, you take a gold coin for every wear tile you deliver. That's kind of nice. Take an action cube each time you acquire prestige. Oh, when you buy when you buy points. Uh, prospector, for each three of any cube you return to the general supply, take a coin. In the military office is more doable. I'll definitely be able to put that out next round, although I do already have one. Doubling up might not be a bad thing, especially when round seven comes along. I'm going to get rid of the gate card because I don't think I'm going to get ahead on the thing anymore. I've already had my punishments. The Prospector is just a cheap card to get out though, isn't it? The ability is maybe not as exciting. No, I'll I'll stick with my stick with my decision. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a six, so they're gonna move ahead on the wall again. I should probably take a two, as much as I don't want to. Red, so we could get this out. Just so there's at least some cubes in round five, and then we can think about taking bigger numbers again. Like maybe six blue now. Get ready for the accountant. Maybe with smaller numbers we'll be able to get the cubes to do the master or the bank. I realise now that I've set quite tough ambitions to get those two cards out. And then with a six, they move on the wall. Five does nothing. Take four purple, four grey, two green and two red. And then my cubes. I've got two black. I think we should definitely use that to put the military office out. So I've got a space. I've got four green. I think we should definitely use one to move on the wall and I get this coin. You can't save them, so I could either buy some spices or I think I'll move my boat one, two, three times. Get going. I'm going to need more space, aren't I? Put my activated ones at the bottom. New round. We're in round five. It's racing away from me. And we have got, let's see, these three cost is oh one point for four coins oh, i doing it this way around is rough and then i'm behind on the wall so i don't get the first choice they take away the expensive military office thank you i wasn't going to take that although you know doubling up on all of these things might not be a terrible thing the idler you do not have to take a card Prefecture, at the end of the game, you score a point for each of your activated office cards. Ooh. Finance, we'd definitely be able to get out next round, because I've got a load of grey cubes coming up. The Master Builder, two gold coins every time you activate a building. I've got the bank, but it's it's not near getting activated, is it? I think for reasons of getting cards out, I'm going to take finance. And we do want things to activate, it's just I haven't got blue cubes coming up till round nine. Dice, we have got... Nothing else that can go out this round. And a load of fours. So great for round eight. I mean, we could go for like blue, black, try and 
get these cards out in round eight because there's also no cubes in there at the moment. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Right, with my two red cubes, I think, we well, we do need to get this office out and should I just activate it? spend my other red cube to get a coin because otherwise it's just moving one space oh, there's no good for one red cube oh there's the wall as well yeah we will get action cubes for going up it i've got no red coming up <laughs> got this office and taken no red cubes yeah let's activate it while we can spend the red cube get another coin right then another new round so i'm not full up we can have a look at the office cards. Very expensive. And the person cards. So this is going to be two, four, five gold for one, two points. One's getting taken away. I think I might just roll a die, actually. One, two, three, four, five. And if it's a six, we'll re-roll. Four. Okay, let's not even look at that. Paper storage. For each paper you deliver, get double points. Score a point each for each of your activated law office cards. I don't want any of these. I guess, like this round, we have six grey cubes. I could put the finance office out. I don't have law office cards. You gotta take a card. And if we get a red next round, maybe, we could do the paper storage, and that potentially could pull off, but the, the paper is really expensive this round. We'll, we'll go for offices, and I don't like it. I'm gonna have to go along with it. Dice. We've got some lovely sixes. So I wanted threes didn't I to try and build this up now fours I can put purple in this round to try and get the colors I want all together yeah I think I'm going to take a purple four so we've got blue and purple we just need black and red to come up in the same round now and then there are not six black cubes left so we can't take that we could go for six green it's a shame there isn't a two if there was a two we could have put 14 cubes in next rounds and we'd get two points for that I don't think I want just one red now it would get me a coin, but let's see, there are five blues. That would clear out the blues. Greys, I kind of want more because I, I could get rid of both of those. It would leave one grey left. And then greens, I would get six of them. It's the advantage there. I think I'm going to go for greys. So hopefully I can gain one grey somehow. Uh, so for the AI, they are moving twice on the wall. Not a chance of me getting in front here. Fives do nothing. Red one, purple four. Okay, so I've got some cubes now. I definitely want this finance office out. I don't think I'll do the other one. It does leave me, you know, just one space free again, but it means I could activate this finance office with another grey cube. So I've now got six coins. If the rate gets better for a round, I might do it. I think it's worth moving one on the wall, because again, we, we will come up to these things. And then two cubes left... Is there anything cost two grey? No, I've already had it. Yeah, I'll move two with my boat. Try and get towards Genova. <laughs> like round seven. I'm not going to get there in round seven even. Okay, reset everything. New round. We've got three, four, five, seven gold. So I can't afford it again. Although I, I might be able to earn one gold. I've got the military office, haven't I? For two, three, four, five points. That's not too terrible is it uh, we need to remove something and it's going to be number four again loves taking number four away from me score points when you're in the lead alone on the prestige track which uh, in the solo game is the wall which no i wouldn't be able to do that anyway take a gray action cube isn't that exactly what you wanted but yeah looking at the cubes i've got available i wouldn't be able to get that and the finance office out now the professor for each one die you select you take a gold coin or we go for justice or military let's go justice it's a bit cheaper so we have got so dice let's see unfortunately in ones it would have been nice if i'd have rolled a blue and a red i would have gone for them because we could have got both these cards out in this round hasn't gone that way though but we have rolled two twos now so something that you can do is you can remove the joker so the red and gray joker rather than the bot doing anything else, like moving on the wall and taking other goods. I could let them do that, but I don't think I'm really bothered what they're taking away. I'm not going to get that paper. They've already taken the four. They've already taken that two. I've already taken that two. They've already taken the one. Yeah, they're not at this point, they're not really taking anything away. This round anyway. So there are not five black cubes. There are not two grey cubes. So they're not options. Red in there, and then I just need purple. Yeah, I think we should take the red too. Yeah, I didn't get two ones to fill this up. But this one, it's got 10. Oh, it needs 14. No, there's no chance of that happening. This one's got 10 in it, uh, but a three hasn't come out. Or do we want blue or green? I'm going to say blue. Give me more actions when the time comes. 
Right. Actions now. We can't get a card out, can we? Like in a way, we can we can pay two gold to put the future development one out. Two gold and one black cube. And then I can activate both of those. Spend two black to get those two coins back. Haven't got the other colours. Can't put a card out, gonna lose three more points. I'm just a disaster this game, aren't I? How many spaces away are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think let's move one on the wall. The jades is not too far away, is it? Three purple would get you that. Move one on the wall, because then we get a blue cube. So the wall cubes go in this circle because you can't use these cubes to go further on the wall. You've got to use them this round still. Just a reminder, you've got to use them for something else. Let's spend three black to get this rice. And then I'm going to use this for moving. And let's use these five for moving as well. One, two, three, four, five. We're in Genova. They want things delivered. So I'm going to deliver this one for the full five points, which I'm about to lose. And this I could get three points or I could choose to take two points and get this blue action cube. I think that's what I'm going to choose. So again, things you earn from the ship, though, can't be used to move the ship, though. So what are you going to use it for? You might as well take the points because there's no one blue there. You can't advance on the wall with one cube. You can't do anything with one blue cube here. If you save both blue cubes, you could have put this out. Oh, but I needed the blue cube to move there in the first place. Yeah, I might as well have the extra point then. One, two, three. New round. I'm full up, so I'll lose three points. Cards. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven gold for two, three, four points. One gets removed. Five. Pay any two action cubes to get an action cube. Would have been nice. Okay then, so again, do we take a cheap office? A point for each of your activated building office cards. They are the green ones. So no, I haven't got any of them. The captain score a point when your ship moves at least two spaces. I think I'm going to go the easy way out. I'm going to discard this finance card to put another justice in because I can get that out this round, I think. Now I need a purple one, please. Or black and red twos. Let's see what we can get. We've got, no, it's a purple six. So at this point in the game, sixes become one. <gasps> sixes become ones! Ooh. So I won't change them because the bot, let's just move the bot on the wall now. One, two, three spaces. So we definitely want to take the purple one, don't we? Because, oh, we can only get one of the cards out, but still, it's something. Even if it's like just getting two coins every round. No twos have come out to let me get the bonus on there, unfortunately. Black's going to help me out a lot, I think. I can't take the grey five. And black three, it will help me out, and it clears out a colour. Let's do that. Right. So I definitely want to get out, let's say the master. Help me in the dice rolling phase. So it's one of each of these colours. Let's get the accountant out. Get a gold coin when you activate an office card. And now we can activate military duan is that customs so they get me two each right we can do the military one for another two and so now yeah i think i think i will spend seven for four points it's a bit late in it hey an engine <laughs> exists now it's not a good one and it's not going to get us anywhere i think it's the threshold for winning like 50 or something i'd be shocked if i even got to that Right, round nine. Point if you have naught to two wear tiles on board, you move forward a space on the wall whenever you acquire a city quarter. Again, that coming out round one, you wouldn't get it out round one, prob well, but it would like change the direction of your game, wouldn't it? The hospital, you take a gold coin whenever you activate a person card. Okay, so it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coins for one, two, three, four, five, six points. And the game is taking away card oh no that's the card you can't take three cabin boy gonna go for an easy card i can get out and try and get some good gold out of i suppose just depends what we roll there's a lot of green there's a lot of red that could possibly come out but they haven't been rolled as much okay so we've got oh this needs moving along let's do his things now so moves on the wall red two blue four green three. Oh dear gray one it's already gone. So sixes and fives are ones. So now, we, now we've done the bot, we can just actually flip them. So it's easy for me. Do you know what I could do? I can place all action cubes of one die in a neighboring space. I could take the red two and the purple one, but choose to put the purple one in the two space. We're not getting tons of cubes in these rounds, are we though? But it'll get the bank out next round. That's something. Go for it. You sound thrilled about it. <laughs> Oh, have I got space? Yes, and it'll put me on 15 out of 16 for that round. We might get to put something else out, mightn't we? Okay, for this round, running out of space, we can get out both of these offices with the blues. 
you can just about see them. I can activate both of the blues for four coins. I do have nine coins if I want to buy six points. I'm going to. I'll put it on 12, because at least I'll get a, one more for every other round now. No more abilities that can be activated, but we can move our boat. We only need to move it three. I'm going to use a purple two. Let's grab these pots and then the rest of the three cubes. What are you going to use this red cube for, though, when you get it? I don't know. Just don't get it. One, two, three. Move me there. Let's turn these in for five points. Okay, new round. Are you between 10 and 19 points? Yes, gain a point. Cards, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight money for three, four, five, six, seven points. <gasps> and I've just spent all my money. A card's getting taken away because I'm miles behind on the wall. It is number one. I wasn't going to take that. Hughes at least one off his card score a point. Just, am I going to be able to get that out? Maybe this round, actually. Just a point in it. You've got to take a card, though. Might as well be one that can do something for you. Okay, dice. I'm hoping for a bit more purple, but I'm not sure why now I say it out loud. So let's see. Sixes, they move on the wall. Fives, they do nothing. They take away the green three, red two, purple one. It'll be grouping and getting a load of goods is worked out, hasn't it? Oh, I haven't put a, a tile out. Um, where was that? It wasn't anywhere matching, was it? I think it was there. You get a point each for each of your markers that are out or two points each in your biggest group. You don't get both at the same time, though. As soon as two are touching, it's just two points each, even if you've got loads out separately. Okay, so now it's six, five, four, all become ones. We've got 15 cubes in here. We need to take a one so it's full and it'll be great. I'm going to take a blue because then that's the last blue gone. That's full up. I get three points. And then let's take green three. No idea what I'm going to do with that. This might be the last good round, really. Okay, all these cubes, let's spend one of each of these colours to get the bank out and let's activate it to take two coins. We might be able to get enough coins to buy these points. So I've got two black for military here. That's four coins. Grey for finance is another two. So what are we on now? Two, six, eight. So I've got it. Eight coins for seven points. So I'm just thinking, do I put this out now or do I save it and use the blues to activate these two for another four coins? I don't know. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. It'd be nice to earn a few more, wouldn't it, to get three points at the start of these last two rounds? Maybe it is possible. I don't know. It's still a ways off, isn't it? Oh, I think I wanted a purple for this. What did I take? I took another blue, didn't I? Yeah. Might have messed that up. I've forgotten, though. Uh, let's. So I, I was okay. Let's say I put this out. Three blue, one grey. And I've still got a blue. Three blue, one grey. I can still activate the blue to get another two coins. And if you use at least one office card, get a point. One point short. And then I've got four cubes left. Well, guess what's exactly four away? One, two, three, four. We could get a green cube, but what would I use it for? Because I keep doing this last. Uh, but we can send these pots off for five points. We're at 34. New round. My tableau is not full. In fact, it's closer to empty. I have got 30 or more points. I get three. Office cards now mixing with my built cards because there's too many. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five gold. Easy. Four. Oh, dear. One, two, three points. That's not bad, is it? If I've got three points, I'll, I'll surely be able to afford that. Uh, something's getting taken away. It is the administration office. Take a gold coin if you're last place on the wall. That would be great, but it's just hard for me to build. Because I've got nothing for this round as well. Like, I'm going to have to take a die that puts something out for this round. I don't know, construction I will be able to build in the last round, I think. Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> not, not excited about it. Okay, now let's do the bots thing. So they've got a six. They take away blue three, green two, black one. Red four, grey four. Oh yeah, because I could have taken that red four. I don't have the cubes for it though. My cube riches are all gone and I haven't really got cards that help me get more cubes anymore. So at this point, everything that's not a two is a one. So if I take a one grey, so I've got something to do this round, that clears out all of the greys. I'm pretty much finished, aren't I, other than earning money. I'll take the two green and move it to this round because of my master's ability. So with a grey and two greens, let's get the construction office out, just so it's not minus one point if it's out here. I, I could have taken a purple, couldn't I? And then you'd do that, and that'd be three fewer points you'd lose. Yeah, because we'll have enough greens to do this. Maybe we'll just clear out the negatives. Instead of taking the two greens, let's take the one purple, just not using any abilities. 
do this and one gold to put out the goldsmith. Any cube to get a coin. But it's basically, it's, it's minus three points that I'm not, I'm not losing anymore. Last round, my big rounds are behind me. I wasn't taking sixes when this was coming up. As I, I feel like I would normally do. Let's have the cards out here now. That'd be an idea, wouldn't it? So we've got two, four, six coins for one, two, three, four points. Great rate. And the AI is going to take away number one, the border guard. You take one gold coin more when you at least use at least one custom or office card. I think it's custom. Yeah, it's border guard. It's customs. I have got one, but the card's been taken away. There's no point thinking about it. So in terms of what I can put out to avoid negative points, I want to take the one cube finance because I'll, I'll be able to play that, won't I? There's no point rolling the dice, really. Well, I suppose that for, for what the AI takes away, you'd still roll the dice. So I think I'm just going to get these cubes. To, oh, start of the round. I did have 30 points, so I get three points but i think that's that's it what if any end have i got any end game things i've got the resource areas and stuff i don't know if it's going to be enough okay i think we're going to be closer than i thought i was going to be four black four gray three purple <laughs> it's rolled just the right things to clear stuff out didn't roll two twos so every die is a one basically so you, you've got this i think to clear everything out i'm going to take a gray and a green and that's all i'm doing for the round because i don't think earning money and stuff I would get one point and I'd be able to buy four points, but I'd be losing like nine points for having these cards still out. So I think I'm just taking the exact cubes I need to play my cards. And so at the end of the game, you get a point per city quarter. I've got, I'm missing one still. I've got four, basically. I've got four tiles, so I must have taken four city quarters. I don't think they were anywhere near each other. So it's a point each. One, two, three, four. End game cards. I don't think I've got any. Oh, I could have. I don't think I did this for two rounds. Just uh, use the bank to gain two coins. Like, I wouldn't have been able to afford the six coins at the end, but oh, what I could have done is kept kept this on here and activated this with my one green cube instead, because that would have given me two gold and you activated an office card, score a point, and then I could have bought for six of my seven, four points. Yeah, because I'm going to lose three, but I've gained two beyond that. That makes sense? Right, activated endgame cards, gotten on. Game supply. So that's where we go up here. So I've got one, two, three empty sections. That's going to give me six points. So I'm on 55. That is a victory if we weren't losing any points. So uh, cards not completed. One of them. One, two, three. Future development cards. Oh, I wouldn't have lost the points, actually. I might not have needed to do this one. You have to pay the gold if you couldn't do it at the end. If you can't pay the gold, you lose the points. But yeah, I could have left one there. And then goods undelivered, you would lose the value of like the highest points remaining. So if I had like paper and no paper had been delivered, I would lose five points now. I don't have any like that. But unfortunately, because of this card, I did get closer. But yeah, a victory would be 55 points. Major victory for 60. Complete victory for 65. Master victory for 70. But I think, yeah, I was a bit rudderless and useless for a lot of these rounds which can be like the way in macau like it's it's different because you are limited in the cubes that you can have for a round so a thing that i would normally do and have to train myself out of it uh, is like what everyone would like to do you'd like to have rounds where you've got a billion cubes and you can do a million actions right but you can only have so many per round so me going like in round one oh i'll take these sixes and then do loads of stuff oh unfortunately you're at your limit now so tough luck when you need to get all these other colors that you've gone for but yeah a great solo variant zippy hopefully this has been uh, quite a snappy video in the end the player aid and the dice aid thing are a lovely little extra touch do miss me windrows but yeah come with the the variant and you can print those out as well not many extra rules no upkeep of a bot to worry about and you still got a very tough and tense game of the always wonderful macau i hope you enjoyed that if you like to see uh, some more steffenfeld solo stuff uh, there's one for trajan that i've seen i imagine there's more solo variants if i look into it more deeply and i am crossing my fingers for things like um, amsterdam hamburg new york We'll have to see if they get here at some point. If you enjoyed this and you would like to help me keep making more things, patreon.com slash slickerdrips or Kofi as well is linked in the description and any support there would be massively appreciated. They are the entire reason that I can make videos like this. Thank you so much to everyone that supports me and for watching in the first place. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you would have done. Probably much better things. Uh, I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone. <laughs>